Among many common stories told about John Williams is the story about the finale to E.T. called Adventures on Earth. It's said that this finale was so perfect what we perform today is exactly as it is in the film and that it was so perfect, Steven Spielberg said, don't change the music, I'm going to change the movie. Except none of this is actually true. It is based on a true story, so let's look into the truth about this finale to E.T. The piece Adventures on Earth that we perform in concerts is almost what's in the film. Some of the measures were cut because it was static under dialogue lines or cut because of some of the repeated sections as well. The time difference is a little over a minute of total music if we consider the same starting location. In truth, the final sequence of music is actually about 20 minutes of the film. So what about the story though, where this is the only case where a director changed the film to match the music? Well, this is based on a true story. It's almost just as true to say that John Williams sucked at his job. Seriously. Spielberg wanted this to be operatic and that the music was just as important as the visuals in this sequence. The problem was John Williams couldn't get the emotional impact from the orchestra and still hit the necessary beats needed for the action. This is where Spielberg said to just turn off the projector and get the best performance out of the musicians and then he will recut the film to match the music. Here's John Williams' own telling of that story. And I was having a very difficult time with the orchestra. Trying, I would make maybe a good take for the first five, but maybe off the next two cues and then on further cues. But I remember it so well, Stephen coming out to the podium and saying, I will take the f film off the screen so you can just play the music with the orchestra and with its natural phrasing, the way it ebbs and flows in its own way, and then conform the, f the film to what is the best musical performance of that thing. Very unusual. So it's not that the music was so amazing that Spielberg decided to change the movie to match, but rather understood the emotional impact that John Williams was trying to get out of the musicians and agreed it would be better to fit the film to the music rather than the other way around as it normally is. When we had the musical performance we felt gave us the most lift and the most sense of exultation at the end of the film, Stephen then laid the music track against the film and made a few editorial adjustments to conform to the music. While yes, the common story told is close enough to the truth, but over time that story will shift, to the point where I've heard a conductor tell the audience that the music was so perfect that Spielberg told Williams to not change it at all, but that's not what happened. The music was never in question to be changed, but to get the emotional impact out of the players and line up with the film's story beats. 